what's going on guys welcome back and i want to first thank you guys for overly supporting the last video on this s500 you guys pumped me up to do the vip build and i just wanted to make a quick video because i was planning on not doing another video for quite some time and i just went down and got a radio installed i wanted to show you that and then i really want to show you one other thing that has been absolutely driving me crazy i've done a few videos on i've even shown you guys about it i'm going to talk about that in just a second and it's an, an exciting exciting news for me i am actually like overly shocked that this is happening but first let's talk about the wheel fitment so i left you guys off last time uh, where I had the car put the rims on there now if you didn't know this these cars come with hydraulic rear shocks and you can actually adjust them I will link a video below that I show how to do that It's kind of an older video where I didn't have the greatest quality film But to get you to the point it shows you how to do that and it's actually very easy uh, You can access it right underneath the car, but what I had to do is uh, raise it up and unfortunately I drove down the road and it dug into this tire a little bit you can see and uh, it was basically sitting on the tire and my hydraulic fluid was low because the car sat for a while so I was able to raise it up and I think I got it perfectly where I want it um, and I plan on lowering the other front so now let's go ahead and check out what I was just talking about I had the radio installed and they called me up and said hey um, you, you know I told them that my front uh, driver speaker was not working and I thought it was the amp uh, just not working properly because that is a known fact that sometimes the amp will not send a signal to one speaker I even tried uh, subbing out a speaker I had a parts car a while back so if you guys have been with the channel at all you probably know a little bit about this and then um, out of nowhere my soft clothes stopped working and I knew it had something to do with a wire because I was able to jump the soft clothes to another door um, and I showed that in another video. It's really not that difficult if you access the pump. You can kind of cross over uh, the way that it pumps. And I was able to get the door to shut, so I knew the pump was working perfectly fine and the door uh, actuator was fine. And those are the two main things. And uh, I took the whole door apart, spent um, an entire day playing around with it, and never came to a conclusion. They called me and said, hey, we found out why your front speaker wasn't working. In the kick panel, there was a ground wire and a couple other wires uh, that came loose and we went ahead and hooked them back up. And guess what? Now, the soft close works. So, if you guys have a soft close issue out there, there is a chance that a ground wire came loose. Unfortunately, they were closing up. I didn't get a chance to ask them the exact wire, but I'm guessing it was a ground wire that helped control the speakers as well as obviously the soft close so it grounded out everything in this door is my guess or they had uh, found another wire i wasn't 100 percent clear because this is a tech translating it to the owner who translated it to me when i went up there so let's take a look at the sys the uh, radio that i went with this is a very basic radio let me go ahead and turn it down so uh, we don't get any copyright infringements made by Sony and I went with this because of the clean fitment it does not have a CD player which I could care less about uh, but it runs fully off an app in the phone and it has a lot of features and it was only it was just under a hundred bucks and it was not that expensive to get installed except that they had to bypass uh, the amp and a couple other things um, but it was only a hundred dollars plus insulation they ended up putting kicker speakers in the front door because of the ohms of those speakers would not be compatible in the long run is what they said they said over time you would burn the system out but this is the Sony DSX-A415 BT and I'll get focus on that for you and so far I can say I highly suggest it specifically in this style car because it doesn't throw off the aesthetics in my opinion now this is just a quick review of this because I'm going to be doing a trunk build obviously I ordered a ton of stuff to make this a VIP style car that I'm going to be revealing to you guys soon and I'm very excited I'm going to have um, cigar trays and wine bottle trays I've got a whole assortment of things ordered from this really cool company that I'm going to do a full video on I just wanted to update you guys and they told me it was down in the kick panel is where that wire was I couldn't be more excited so I wanted to share this with you guys because you guys have been so awesome about um, letting me know how you feel about this build and one of the things that had been driving me nuts is this soft close was the only door that did not work my trunk worked, all the other doors work perfect and now I can actually move forward knowing that I have a really really nice car I've got my stance fixed so my tires aren't rubbing and I'm gonna be lowering the front just a hair we'll be doing that in a very short uh, very upcoming video 
I did order in a spring compressor so we can take out the springs. And obviously I'll go into all that. But thanks again, guys. I didn't want to make this video extremely long. I probably rambled on longer than I needed to, but I wanted to show you where we were at. Have an awesome day. My name's Pete. This is Pete's Carport. If you're new to the channel and you found this video, please subscribe. I've got tons of videos coming out on this. I've got the 190E with the tires back on. I'm changing out the fuel filter today. The SC300 is going to be heavily back on the channel. I know I've said that a few times, but I'm working on getting everything put together. It's going to take a little bit more time on those things. And I'm going to give you guys an update on the cheapest Range Rover in the nation. You don't want to miss out on that. You guys have an awesome day. Once again, like, subscribe, and share.